he runs the CSA program for Whole Foods, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the local produce that comes in now and um, starting in the fall. Yeah, well, right now we're uh, starting to get in more and more greens, like kale, as the cool weather starts coming on. Uh, lately, during the summer, we've had stuff from Cal Organic because that's the only available greens due to the hot weather around here. Dark leafy greens, which are very high in nutrition, require cooler temperatures. So we kind of had to bring in more stuff from California. But it's always better to support local farms. Like this kale we're starting to get in from Lancaster, you can see it's a little bit more uh, rustic looking. Uh, it's always better to support local farms just because you know it's coming from a closer area so it's better for the planet as far as fossil fuels go. But it's also better to support small local farms from Lancaster rather than big conventional factory organic farms in California just because they're generally doing better practices and treating the plants a little bit better. Um, so the, the greens are coming on. We're starting to get more local beets and root crops, and collard greens are starting to be local. You can see, you can see how it's starting to phase in. The, the ones with the rubber bands are from Lancaster. These purple bags are from California. And collard greens are actually really awesome to use instead of bread to make wraps and things. So that's why I love them for just like sauteing them. That's They're awesome. Cool. Yeah, any of these greens are great for steaming real quick and. Uh, very high on the Andy score. They're all popping out at a thousand kale and collard greens. So we got red kale, green kale, collard greens, dino kale. Chard's also pretty good. A little bit chard, sweeter. Yeah. Great and you green. think local, local is definitely cheaper from a financial perspective. People yeah. are trying to save money on uh, buying, you know, healthier things. It's better than organic, say, you know, like you said, from California or Mexico. Absolutely. You're not paying for the huge shipping costs and all that. Uh, we get all our, all our organic local stuff from Lancaster Farm Fresh, which is a block of local farms. Uh, they're really good about supplying a consistent supply of organic produce. Um, we also get a lot of organic berries. Local. And the best thing with um, you know local is even if, what do you think about like the pesticide usage of like local farmers? Right, well a lot of local farmers on the east coast are struggling to provide organic produce just because of the hot humid conditions over here compared to the dry, hot, warm west. So although they, they have a huge market for organic produce, it's difficult for them to meet, to meet that demand. So what they're doing now is called IPM, which is an integrated pest management system, and they're actually doing very bare minimum sprays at, at strategic times and using all sorts of other methods as well to uh, assure the crop viability. Wow, that's amazing. And so it's not like getting as much pesticide as you're going to get from like a regular conventional berry. Um, the tip that I like is if you want to buy it local and you know you're worried about the pesticides, all you have to do is soak in a little bit of water. I do water with apple cider vinegar, yeah. um, and that's awesome. And then you just like rinse them off real gently. And the um, great thing about you know the breweries getting them now, is, like stocking up and then freezing them, and then you have them through the winter for smoothies and things. And berries and tart apples are on the detox. They're one of the only fruits that's on it for the month. So uh, feel free to you know grab those. It's awesome. Yep, the tart apples are coming in season probably in the next couple of weeks. So we got the green early apples. And yeah, they're great for detox smoothies and juices. We actually do cold pressed juices here, which are along the same line. We've been getting we've been getting uh, conventional peaches from Virginia and New Jersey pretty consistently and they've been really great. They're not organic like the California ones, but like she said, they, uh, they're easy to wash off and it's great to support local farms and they tend to be fresher and honestly, I think they taste a lot better. And what did you say, what about, I heard that a lot of the local farmers, it costs them so much money to go through the whole organic, you know, labeling right. thing, but a lot of the times they are organic even though they're not labeled that way. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of farms in the area can't afford the thousands of dollars to pay for all the inspections and they 
support the cause, but they'd rather focus their money on the actual production of things. And they do stuff like certified naturally grown. is a, a third-party certifier that doesn't cost as much. It's not supported by the government. Um, and then other things like labeling yourself as chemical free and the IPM thing. It's so interesting because our taxpayer dollars are going towards GMO foods, right. which is really disheartening. And so that's why it's just so important, like Mick was saying, to, to support your local farmers. Because even though it doesn't say organic necessarily, you can just talk to your farmers or talk to, you know, somebody like Mick and find out where it's coming from and how they produce it. So thank you so much for your help. Yep. I learned a lot today and um, we hope to get more people in the store buying local or checking out their local farms and uh, make the world a better place. Definitely. All right, thank All right. you. Thank you very much. Thanks.